Oh, I'm feeling rough. Oh, I'm feeling rough. Oh, I feel rough. I feel rough. Yeah, I made a couple of beers last night. I'm a legend. <laughs> I don't really drink that much, as you can tell, so. Now having some precision hydration. I've had some Barocca. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. So on Wednesday, I raced the 10 mile TT. I'll link to that video in the cards above. Fucked up the pacing so bad. So I was like, right, I need to enter another few races because I was so frustrated myself. I entered like three more. And one of them was today, so Sunday. And it was one of the one of the athletes that I coach. It was her um, like birthday party. We went around to hers and... Um, it wasn't a really heavy night, was it? Yeah, it wasn't like heavy, heavy, but it was enough to feel a little bit, uh, a little bit ropey this morning. My go time set at Castle Coombe is 2.36. And I need to have enough time for a warm up and just make sure everything's all right. It's going the other way around this week. So I'm kind of like, I, I doubt I'll get sub 20 minutes this week because I'm feeling a bit shit, but you never know. So give it a go. Um, but they're doing it the other way around. I mentioned in the last few videos. So going clockwise around the circuit rather than anti-clockwise. And I just want to see this week what it's like. And then I've got two other races lined up in the next couple of weeks to hopefully get that, um, that sub 20 minute. And I've got James Hester to come and get some videos for me in the next couple of weeks, which would be cool. So you're going to get some racing footage of me. Watch me suffer. It looks quite windy, so that's a good excuse. I've got quite a bad headache, that's a good excuse. Well, yeah, Lydia's here, that's a good excuse. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm never drinking again. Let's get this shit done. The last time trial I did, I did not pace it correctly at all. Went off way too hard and just ended up blowing up into the wind. So this week I've kind of set a goal of yes working to average speed which is what i want so that 30 mile an hour average but i've got a limit on my power this week because last week i just went way too hard into headwind and like it just didn't work out so um, if the average speed isn't there um and i'm at that like top power level then i know it's not gonna like it's not gonna be a, good, a quick day uh so my i kind of feel like i'm gonna cap the power into the wind at 370 to 380 watts um so yeah i think i think i'll see how that goes it, even for like maybe the first two three laps and then if i feel good i can push on a little bit from there but i want to make sure that i'm actually capable of pushing on like the middle to last section because from the splits that i got it was obvious that my first lap was really good uh, my middle laps weren't great and then my last lap was good because I just wanted to get it done <laughs> So need to work on that middle section So I think easing off a little bit and having a cap on the power early on especially is gonna um, It's gonna hopefully help me out, but fuck me. I have no idea how I'm gonna feel because I'm not gonna lie I felt good this morning. Well, I felt all right this morning, but Damn man, this hangover is actually getting bad <laughs> I got such a bad headache uh, and haven't had much to eat, so there's plenty of excuses today if it doesn't happen. But I'll be over the moon if it does. <laughs> so we love to, uh, yeah, we love to see what happens. It's pretty fucking windy. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Uh, gonna do a bit of a warm up now, and then do that wasp. Yeah, um, and then get changed back into, well not back into, but get changed into my actual kit that I'm gonna wear. Um, reason I'm warming up in this is just because I can take my phone with me just in case something does happen because I don't have my turbo with me so I'm actually going out on the roads to to warm up so just in case and then um, I'll do you're allowed one lap warm up like the last couple of weeks so I'll do that just before I start just see what it feels like wind direction wise um, get a gauge for where the start is because it's over in the pit lane somewhere not not where it normally is. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, still feeling rough, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Buttercup.
nice steady over shoes on making sure that I'm doing everything I can to be as aero as possible and these ones are really good I'd 100% recommend them like the Veloto ones are okay but they're quite um, fragile so I think they're quite disposable whereas these ones are like the material quality is so much nicer uh, so would 100% recommend them I got them from Saddleback which is a T3 team sponsor I'll link to their website in the description below so yeah these are just like, a really nice addition really good quality up enough and they look really cool as well oh well but that's what you're into yeah oh that is a piss take so obviously as you've been knowing we're trying to go sub 20 minutes uh, this is the first week of it going the other way around and I got 20.02 so two fucking seconds <sighs> two fucking seconds what is that all about so it's a new PV which obviously is good Yay. and the fact we got pretty uh, smashed last night that's obviously pretty good as well <laughs> need to do that more often but uh, actually like such a kick in the nuts but i've got two more races left so not next week week after that and then the week after that as well so there are two more chances i thought you know it was really windy today i didn't think it would be that quick but luckily i was able to average like 29 like it was starting it it was around 29 miles an hour i was like it's really not going to happen but every lap it kind of got like 0.2 of a mile an hour quicker or 0.2 mile an hour but a mile an hour Point two of a mile an hour better uh, and yeah it was on that I think it was the second to last lap I just lost it a little bit on then on the last one I had to really dig deep and and actually like round one of the last chicanes like, I don't know why I was absolutely hammering it towards like the finish line like the last 50 meters and I don't know why but I, like I freewheeled for a little bit to get round the chicane I just shouldn't have done that because then I would have gained an extra two seconds <laughs> if I just kept pedalling. <laughs> it, it was just something stupid like that, but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's racing, so um, still a PB, but obviously it's a bit like it's bittersweet because I'm really trying to go for that sub 20, and 2002 just is a bit of a slap in the penis. <laughs> <laughs> That, that sobered me up a lot. Not that I was drunk, but like it sorted the hangover out. I mean, maybe a little bit. Yeah. But definitely, like, I didn't think I'd do that well, to be honest. So just go to share. Like, I've always said it. Like, sometimes if you have a night out, the next day you can like you might feel like shit, but you can put out really good performances. Um, Give it a go myself, so maybe. Clearly, next time I need to get absolutely fucked. Maybe I need to drink more the night before. That's the issue. That's where so I'll get So three the beers seconds. rather than two. I only have one. <laughs> How much did you just order? Too much, but you know what? I got another PB. I'm slightly depressed because I was two seconds off. <sighs> I'm getting really fucking emotional. This is comfort eating. Yeah. <laughs> People can hear me. <laughs> My window's <laughs> open. <laughs> oh, I'm so frustrated. I know I've got two more races, but fuck me, this is just. It's grinding my bloody gears at the minute. I might try and borrow a disc from someone. I don't. I feel like at Castle Coom a disc would help. She needs to pedal a bit harder. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> Normalized power was 355. So my last PB was 2008 and I did 349 watts. This week I did 2002 and I did 355 watts. So obviously six watt difference, six watts up from my previous PB, uh, but from last week, I'm actually um, three watts lower, which is quite interesting, but I'm obviously a lot quicker. But yeah, just finding that two seconds, like, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not about the power, it's about where you apply the power, and I think this week, obviously, like, applying the power was better, but it, it definitely, like, 
the more I race, the more like race savvy I become on the circuit. But like, it, it's still, I don't know if I'm applying the power in the perfect places. I still think I've got a lot to learn on the circuit. And you only get that obviously from experience, but with only two races left, I kind of want to get it in the bank for in the next race because I don't want to have to rely on the last race because I'll just shit myself. <laughs> like, not literally, obviously. But, <laughs> but actually, no, I might. 